Noam Chomsky did an interview with Democracy Now! and he was asked about Bernie Sanders. Let's see what he had to say. Well, Bernie Sanders is an extremely interesting phenomenon. He's a decent, honest person. That's pretty unusual in the political system. Uh, maybe there are two of them in the world. You know? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, but uh, he's, uh, he's considered... Uh, a radical and extremist, which is a pretty interesting characterization uh, because he, he's basically a mainstream New Deal Democrat. His positions uh, would not have surprised President Eisenhower, who said, in fact, that uh, anyone who does not accept New Deal programs doesn't belong in the American political system. Uh, that's now considered very radical. Uh, the other interesting aspect of Sanders' positions is that they're quite strongly supported by the general public and have been for a long time. That's true on taxes, it's true on health care, uh, so take say health care. Uh, his, his proposal for a national health care system, meaning the kind of system that just about every other developed country has, uh, at uh, half the per capita cost of the United States and uh, comparable or better outcomes. Uh, that's considered very radical. But it's been the position of the majority of the American population for a long time. So if you go back, say, to the Reagan... Right now, for example, uh, latest polls, about 60% of the population favor it. Uh, when Obama put through the Affordable Care Act, there was, you recall, a public option, but that was dropped. It was dropped even though it was supported by about almost two-thirds of the population. They go back earlier, say, to the Reagan years, uh, about 70% of the population thought that national health care should be in the Constitution because it's such an obvious right. And in fact, about 40% of the population thought it was in the Constitution. <laughs> Again, because it's such an obvious right. And, and the same is true on tax policy and others. So we have this phenomenon where someone is taking positions that would have been considered pretty mainstream uh, during the Eisenhower years that are supported by uh, a large part, often a considerable majority of the population, uh, but he's dismissed as radical and extremist. Uh, that's an indication of how the spectrum has shifted to the right during the neoliberal period. Uh, so far to the right that the contemporary Democrats are pretty much what used to be called moderate Republicans. And the Republicans are just off the spectrum. They're not a legitimate parliamentary party anymore. And Sanders has uh, uh, the, the significant part of it. He has pressed the mainstream Democrats a little bit towards the progressive side. You see that in Clinton's statements. But he has mobilized a large number of young people, these young people who are saying, look, we're not going to consent anymore. And if that turns into a, a, a continuing organized, mobilized, mobilized force, that could change the country. Maybe not for this election, but in the longer term. Every part of that was spot on. So first of all, he lays it out there and says, yeah, people call him radical, people call him extremist, these are people in the mainstream media and the establishment, and nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, if you want to get very literal here and very technical, He's a centrist. He's a centrist because he's right smack dab in the center of what the American people want according to the polling data. And actually what Chomsky was saying there reminds me of a, a, a tweet that I sent out a while back. It was some of my finer work, if I don't say so myself, where I said, if you think universal health care, universal college, clean elections, and a living wage is too much to ask for, the radical is you. So this is exactly what he's saying, and he's 100% right. Now, furthermore, not only is Bernie Sanders a centrist in the sense that among the American people, he's right in the center of the different policies they want, he's also a centrist in the international sense, and this is what Chomsky alluded to as well. When you have 
every other modern nation having some form or another of universal health care and we still don't have it. Well, again, that would mean he's in the center of international modern politics. And if you disagree with him, you're on the fringe. You're the extreme one. And then he also says, well, hold on now. This isn't some sort of uh, far leftist. He's a New Deal Democrat. So again, I think it's a sad state of affairs when somebody like myself or somebody like Bernie Sanders represents in the minds of so many people that which is far left because that honestly besmirches all the people who are significantly to the left of me. And there are a lot of them, including many of the people who watch my show. I wouldn't say I'm any further left than a New Deal Democrat. Or, you know, a social democrat, as it's called in the Scandinavian system, and as it's called in, uh, you know, today's political science terminology. So, yeah, New Deal Democrat. He's kind of like FDR. And Chomsky goes on to point out that fucking Eisenhower, a Republican president, says anybody who questions a New Deal program doesn't belong in American politics. So, it, it, Bernie Sanders' positions used to be such a duh that even Eisenhower, a Republican, was like... Yeah, obviously. Yeah, we all support those things. And actually, on some issues, Bernie Sanders is actually more conservative than Eisenhower. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm sure there are some issues where it's the reverse, and Eisenhower is more conservative than Bernie Sanders. But take, take tax policy, for example. Under Eisenhower, the top nominal rate was 91%, 93%. It was over 90%, the top marginal nominal tax rate. Whereas Bernie Sanders, his top marginal nominal rate is 52%. So again, this idea that he's some sort of crazy person. Did you think Eisenhower was a crazy person? It It's so obvious and the things he's saying are so duh. You know, he makes the argument that um, we're not asking for equality of outcome. We're asking for equality of opportunity. We're asking that you give people a chance. You give people health care. You give people education. You give people daycare. You give people uh, paid time off with their own tax money. And then they get to make of themselves whatever they want to make of themselves within the context of that system. Again, if you think this is an extremist idea, perhaps you're the extremist. So Chomsky's 100% right here, and I think the last point he made there is probably the most important, which is, look, it might not change this election cycle. It, it might not, you know, it, it looks overwhelmingly likely now that he's not going to be the Democratic nominee, he's not going to be the president. So the challenge now is taking his movement and what he's, you know, gotten mobilized in the country and harnessing that inf that that energy to something that, is productive and would be in the spirit of all the things that Bernie's talking about. And, you know, I would argue the way to do that is to take all these people and all this energy and immediately put it towards money in politics. Immediately put it towards, like, the Democracy Spring protest, which was a success by, by many standards. I mean, we've had, now the Progressive Caucus has proposed bills to try to do some campaign finance reform in a variety of different ways since that movement. And they broke the number, the record number of arrests in doing that protest. So what if all Bernie Sanders supporters got together and were like, fuck this, man. We're going to fight and we're going to get what we want. How about that? We're going to do the right thing for American politics. We're going to get money out of the system. We're going to have clean elections. We're going to make it so that the politicians actually represent the people and don't represent their the corporate donors and the billionaires and the elites. And uh, we're going to succeed and we're not going to stop until we get it. That's what Bernie Sanders is all about. That's what his movement is about. And Chomsky's 100% right in everything he pointed out there.